Well, Manitoba Hydro is in the province of Manitoba in Canada, and we're a very developed country with a lot of potential to expand our hydro, to double it. But 40 years ago, while we were uh, in developments, uh, in the development stage of many major projects, they were in the far north of Canada and Manitoba, just as our new projects are. And when we did that 40 years ago, we did it in a manner that was consistent with the societal expectations, the scientific knowledge, the, sci uh, the, the, the societal values of the time. And today, what was done and how it was done is not acceptable. And it's created legacy issues, particularly with the impact on the local people. And we have major issues that we're working together with the local people to resolve, but it's difficult to do. Now, as we're developing new hydro, we are doing it in a much different way, including with close collaboration and partnership with the local people. This means that the people will support and hopefully overall benefit from the projects. It also means to deal with the, the old legacy issues. So the reason we were involved in the protocol is because the protocol to a high degree deals with these kind of issues and we wanted to make sure that the protocol was going to be workable in our kind of situation. The tool is important to us uh, right now because we are in the middle of expanding our hydropower and looking to, as I said, double our hydropower and we have much that we're operating and we're, we're going to, we plan and are already using the tool as a means to test or check on what we're doing against practices elsewhere and against the, the best leading approaches and as by checking against them and, ac and actually where we need to or we have the opportunity to improve them uh, but the th there's another reason and that is to be able to demonstrate to people both the local stakeholders, the publics in Manitoba, or elsewhere, uh, what we're doing and how well we're doing it. And while developing new hydro, why should developers focus on sustainability? Well, I have two quick answers to that. The first is because we, hydro developers and the rest of the stakeholders and everybody in society, we all want our society to improve and be well, healthy, uh, environmentally, socially, economically, both for now and into the future for our children and our children's children. And we're only going to be able to do that if hydro development or anything else we've done is done in a sustainable manner. The second reason is a shorter one. If we don't do it, we're not going to be able to develop new hydro and we're even going to have to shut down some of our existing hydro.